All right, what's up guys, Ali here. All right, so today I'm going to be talking about the Astros scandal. As you guys know, it's been all over ESPN, everywhere, all over the whole sports world. This is the most baseball has been getting coverage, honestly. It's been crazy. The Astros have our biggest cheaters ever. I'm going into detail with everything that they did. All right, so it all started off. I saw a video of John Boy. He posted a lot of stuff. Check his channel out. Um, he's, he was a big reason as well on why they caught them. It all started with the signs, the banging of the trash cans. The cameras used technology to see the signals of the pitches, what batters would know what pitches were coming to them. They had a trash can, someone banging it, uh, what pitches it was coming. So they knew, the hitters knew what was coming. So, for example, you check out his video as well. He shows they have the sign stolen now, technology, taking pictures of what they're throwing and banging on the noise to know what is coming. So basically, imagine being a hitter and you know what pitch is coming every single time. No wonder how clutch the Astros were in the playoffs and all of that, especially at home it happened in their own ballpark when their numbers for the players were way higher. Altuve and all of them had high bang averages, all these clutch hits, walk-off home runs, because they knew what was coming to them. I understand science stealing is normal. Players do it when they're on bases. They see what the catcher is doing, what the signals are his hands. But when you're, when you're using technology, that's definitely cheating all the way. And another rumor they're talking about, and this is definitely true, they said they had buzzers on them. So they, the hitters knew a buzzing sound when the pitch was coming. Altuve hit a walk-off off Chapman. This is a very popular situation that's going on. He, when he was driving the bases after hitting a walk-off home run to send his team to the World Series, said, don't take off my jersey, don't rip off my jersey. Why would he say that when he hit a walk-off? That's the thing in your mind. You hit a walk-off to go to the World Series, and you're thinking about that? That's so sketch. And then he deletes photos on Instagram after that with his shirt. It's sketchy, you know? And then he says, oh, they interviewed him that. He said, my wife doesn't want me to. That's bullcrap. Your wife doesn't want you to take your shirt off. You post pictures on Instagram of you with no shirt on. And then Correa says he has a tattoo that was bad. That's just bull. I mean, come on. That's an excuse you come up with. He had a, They had buzzers. They keep trying to deny it. Even the manager got fired, A.J. Hinch, uh, the GM. They got suspended, and then they got fired. The owner got rid of them, which is well-deserved. They should have got a title stripped. I mean, I understand that other teams cheat and all that, but when you're using technology, no one has ever cheated in baseball that much. Steroids and all that, but technology to see what pitches are coming. All the players are coming out and pissed, saying they're not getting a good punishment. And Manfred is being terrible for baseball for not giving them punishment. They got off easily. Astros got pretty much no punishment. That's how it should be gone. It's tainted. Look at Aaron Judge saying they didn't earn it. They didn't earn it at all. Altuve stole an MVP. Belger said that. They robbed them of a title. The Yankees should have went to the World Series and played a Dodger in 2017. That should have happened. The Astros did not deserve to make it that year. They would not have beaten the Yankees in that 2017 series without cheating. Straight up. All the players are pissed. I mean, look at Marque Nick Marquez saying they should get a beating. All the players in Astros don't even feel sorry. Their press conference about the apology was terrible. Altuve's apology was shorter than his height. Bregman was reading off a paper, like sounded like a robot with his apology. It was terrible. None of them felt sorry. For and all the players like McCullers and Josh Reddick, they act like they deserved it. They earned it. They're like, we earned it. Correa being all cocky still about it, saying, oh, no, nah, we're fine. We're still going to win it all. Like... What? Like, I don't understand how, after all that, you're not even sorry. The league hates you now. No one respects your championship that you earned. Oh, you did not earn that crap. Yeah. It was terrible. It's pathetic. Tatum championship? No. You have no World Series wins, pretty much. No one's going to respect that. They're cheaters. It's the biggest disgrace ever. I mean, it's pathetic. The franchise is a joke, what they did. and All the problems they had, the scandals with um, players, you getting beatings. With, before the World Series, That um, a lot of stuff going on, too, about abusing some of the players under PED substances, some of their scales they had. The Astros have so much drama. They fired some of their players too. All this stuff before is going on. The Astros have always been a terrible franchise with all this drama and scandals. No one garbage organization from now on. I mean, they've always have been and always will be. It's terrible. It's pathetic for baseball. It makes it look bad now. And they deserve more deeper punishment. All the players coming out. Mark, Mike Fires kind of ratted them out, but they deserved it. He felt bad for the when he played for their team in 2017 that they cheated. And he was just like, all right, I feel bad about it. We're just going to – he pretty much admitted to it. He was like, we admitted that the team cheated, terrible, and nobody's going to respect him. Like I said, man, 
forever it'll be tainted. Thank God the Nationals won. My team, the Nationals, won beating them in seven games. I mean, it feels amazing still to enjoy that World Series win, especially that the Astros cheated. It feels even more sweeter for us Nats fans and the Nats franchise. It's amazing. We'll always cherish that moment. It's the best feeling in the world. And, yeah, that's all I got to say for this video. Um, people are still talking about it, by the way. This, Michael Kay, the Yankees commentators, saying this to be punished. They're still talking about it every day in their um, podcast they have. So it's still going on ESPN, too. Even Stephen A. They're actually covering baseball and Max Kellerman on first take. Uh, they're still talking about that. So I just want to talk about the whole situation with that. And how, like I said, they're biggest cheaters ever, and they're a waste of a franchise now for that. It's pathetic. Disgraceful. All right, thank you for watching this video. If you please like and subscribe to my channel, I appreciate it. And I'll see you guys soon.